Your Excellency, thank you so much for joining CNBC. I want to kick off by asking you to walk us through what's happened in the last several months since you launched the e-visa. When we spoke the last time in Riyadh, you told me that you were trying to reach 100 million visitors by 2030. Are you still on track? Yeah, of course. Uh, very good to see you again, Hadley. Uh, it has been uh, a while. Uh, we uh, launched the e-visa and uh, we opened our uh, hearts and doors to the world uh, last September. And since then, we had uh, received more than uh, 500,000 visitors. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, uh, you know, uh, encouraged by, by the numbers. And the experience is, has been amazing for most of the people. We see them in the social media. We Were follow you surprised them in... at how smoothly this has gone? No, it was uh, very well planned. The e-visa... We trained the airports uh, uh, guys and we upgraded the taxis and the mobility. We trained the hotel people. We uh, upgraded and prepared our so you uh, destinations. The, you, you put the infrastructure yeah. in to make this a success. And we are, we're continuing. It's a, it's a journey. It will never stop. But we are full, uh, fully committed uh, to, to, to our uh, 100 million number uh, to, to, to reach by 2030. We are today at uh, around 41 hopefully this year we're planning to reach to the uh, 50 million uh, which is half of our 2030 target as i said to you last time from now until 2020 we are inviting the uh, adventure and the explorer but beyond 2030 we will see the giga projects coming on stream and then uh, we will have you know um, an amazing destinations to cater for all, to, all type of uh, tourists. A dear friend of mine, Mr. Hassan Yassin, describes Saudi Arabia as the country of two wells. And yeah. as we have seen the volatility in oil prices over the last year or so, really impacting various petrol state economies, abilities to forward plan in terms of what they were going to do, spending-wise, budgets. When you think about this from the tourism perspective, multi-billion dollar tourism industry in Saudi Arabia already when it comes to religious tourism, how soon are we going to see tourism take off like that? What kind yeah. of numbers are we yeah. talking about Our, in terms of the billions? Yeah, we're, we're at about uh, 25 billion today uh, 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 in, in, in from tourism contribution to the GDP. Uh, Saudis spend more than 20 billion outside. We see, we saw and realized a 20% drop year over, year, year over year in outbound tourists, Saudi uh, uh, traveling outside. Uh, uh, and this is uh, a big part of it uh, because of the sh seasons we launched the last year. People are happy and enjoying this. Uh, uh, as we committed, you know, uh, we will uh, reach to the 10% uh, uh, to GDP by 2030, which is about 75 to 80 uh, billion US dollar. And we have all the plans to, to achieve that. And this is a global average, you know, in, in, in France, it's above 15%. In Spain, it's more than 15%. So we, we, our target is, is modest, and I think and we believe uh, that we have a lot to offer to the world, you know, like in the nature, in the uh, sun and sea. Do or, you believe or, you'll overtake Dubai as a tourism destination? They're our friends, you know, we complement each other. Do you? <laughs> we don't compete, Do we complement, yeah. But if more Saudis are staying at home, that will have an impact, no doubt. Yeah, definitely. But Dubai uh, will will always grow. But definitely, we uh, want to fulfill the domestic. You're uh, taking a bite out of their prize. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, a, a healthy competition. Walk me through the next step. What are we going to see from the tourism authority in the coming months? Yeah, the biggest thing, uh, Hadley, is to establish the authority and uh, the uh, promoter visit Saudi. Uh, and the uh, Tourism Development Fund. Uh, as w w I told you in, uh, last time, we signed uh, a worth of uh, $30 billion investment. Today, we have more than $20 billion in, 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 in funding to, to uh, uh, provide financing for uh, future projects from the Saudi banks and from the fund. So we are attracting investors. We are packaging very uh, uh, attractive deals for them to come and invest in Saudi Arabia and develop the very the the beautiful nature in Saudi Arabia, the beautiful Red Sea Islands. It's virgin, you know. Who are some of the big names? Because you've got some big stars headed your way. Yeah, many people, uh, you know. Uh, uh, Andrea Bocelli, I think. 
Lionel Richie, a lot Man, of people yeah, on, that, uh, on that list. Uh, contacted us and they, they, come, they came, uh, a man group already announced two hotels, you know, and, and, and many others uh, are talking about uh, hotels and others are talking about destinations, uh, more than, much, much more than a hotel only. And, and uh, the food and the food and beverages, we are, we're, 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 we're expanding the offering and, and we are catering for all type of uh, tourist uh, needs. We, we are building, I, I believe in the next three to four, five years, we will build, we have a great infrastructure, as you know, the airports, road, telecommunication, mobility, but definitely what called a software, lifestyle, food and beverages, uh, 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 and, and retail, we are upgrading this and building this and trying our best to protect our culture. We want Saudi Arabia to remain authentic and we want, we want when tourists come to Saudi Arabia experience an authentic experience and leave Saudi Arabia with great memories and you this is a promise. A, well you have already a built-in audience at Saudi Arabia um, but at the same point when we talk about attracting international investors as well as attracting international tourists we've got to think about the security situation and as you very well know it's been quite dicey over the last year or so. That's definitely had an impact, certainly on the conferences that we attend as CNBC. A lot of folks scared to come to the region. Obviously, the attacks on Abqaiq uh, were significant. Um, when you think about the challenges in your job, how worried are you? I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all because Saudi Arabia is very safe. If you can, if yeah, you but take there it, there are ballistic missiles within range of Saudi Arabia, yeah, and we're not talking about missiles but, just coming from Yemen. We're yeah. talking about now potentially coming from Iraq or uh, Iran. Uh, but that was a case, and it was addressed and dealt with. And uh, 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 at ho I hope it will not happen again. However, from a crime rate point of view, Saudi Arabia um, is, is among the top three countries, safest country in the world. Uh, and I, th I think things will, will, will settle and slow down in, in, in Yemen and, and, and things will be, will be better. But uh, still, uh, people travel to cities and countries with a very high crime rate. Uh, and in and, 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 and Saudi Arabia, I believe uh, we have not heard this from many people. Maybe uh, you don't see some. An impact in your I numbers. don't see it in, um, impacting. You know, if, if you're saying. If, you, if, you, if, if we look at uh, to the 1.6 billion travelers, uh, I, I don't believe more than 10% would, uh, would feel that Saudi Arabia is not safe. Uh, therefore, and they, see the, they look at the numbers, you know, how safe is the, is the cities and the countries. You haven't seen anyone deciding not to come for that reason? I haven't heard, but uh, 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 if, uh, if, if someone uh, is not coming for this uh, reason, we'll, we'll, we are more than happy to address all the requirements. And in our website, you know, there is all the answers for all the questions. Saudi Arabia is a safe country, you know, and, 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 and we'll remain safe. We're going to have to leave it there, but I really appreciate you coming on.